Hey everybody, Ray from Philly here and Ray Ray on Tuesday, August 22nd. And just wanted to show you a trip that my son and I took today in Baltimore, Maryland. Uh, we went down I-95 on a little trip and went to the uh, Babe Ruth Birthplace Museum. So yes, this was the place where Babe Ruth was born. It's a little row home house in uh, Baltimore. So did you have fun there? It was a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. yeah, it was cool and um, saw the bedroom you know where he was born I don't think back then they really went to use hospitals to give birth so I <laughs> we saw the bedroom and the living room and then there was tons of artifacts in there uh, 500 home run club baseballs lots of uh, signed baseballs his st. Mary's uniform when he played, was at the um, st. Mary's school and then a Baltimore Orioles jersey and of course some Yankees and Red Sox stuff and just tons and tons of stuff. The called shot ball from that sick kid, Johnny. Uh, the, you know, there, everything is in there. It's a long video. It's like 16, 17 minutes, but I highly recommend watching the whole thing. You won't be disappointed. We picked up a couple things today when we were there. Just got a, you know, Babe Ruth Birthplace Museum t-shirt, which was cool. And, and I got a keychain. Why not? show you that real quick here you go babe ruth first place first place birthplace museum that spins around some baseball so it's pretty cool anyway stay tuned uh, for the rest of the video and have fun enjoy and Keep on collecting and enjoy the hobby. Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Ray from Philly and Ray Ray, and we're in Baltimore, Maryland, and right behind us is the Babe Ruth Birthplace Museum. So stay tuned. We're going to go inside right now. Here we are. Hold on. Gift shop there. Oh, this is the back entrance way. What's this here? Al Bummery's gold glove. Oh, cool. Wow, look at this ray. I think this is all his home runs. Every one of them. The date and who he hit it against. Yeah, each plaque represents one of Bayer's regular season home runs. <laughs> As we're getting closer, 686 708 and I guess up there in 1935 
And this is his dates of his World Series home runs. 16. Oh, that's an all-star. All-star. He hit 15 World Series home runs. And here's an all-star home run. Pretty cool. Well, I tell you, in the old days, uh, say back to, up to 1921, or 20, if a man needed, if your ball club needed one run, it was three men on base in the ninth inning, and for instance, I got up there and did a home run, it didn't count for a home run, it only counted for one run driven in. So you make the score two to one or three to two, something like that. Well, I hit quite a few like that. Signed by the 32 World Series team, right? Little John Day. It's over here. Replica Baltimore Orioles jersey. This is the replica of the Jersey Babe Ruth and his Orioles teammates donned in 1914 with the letter B. Oh man, let's grab that card, right? Babe Ruth rookie card. Inside there. Jesus. So thick. I was going to Badville, North Carolina, the first time I'd ever been in a train. And to think that you could lie down and sleep on a train, that was out of the ordinary. Well, anyhow, I got in this little berth, and you know they have a little hammock there where you put your stockings or anything you want in there? Well, getting in there, I started going to sleep, and the horse came up to me and says, Hey, you busher, he said, don't you know you're supposed to put your arm in that hammock? Well, I said, well, except for some reason, so I pumped my arm in the hammock. When I go to sleep, I wake up during the night, and I find out my arms all the habit to up the goes into the habit in that. Well, I did that all night. I got out of the ball field the next day, and I was wondering why it went over the bar. Let's go upstairs, man. Let's go upstairs. Oh, yeah, wow, I didn't even see up there. Look at it up there. We'll probably be able to see it better, too. What was that? Is Rock Mm hmm. Take 
First game three to 32 in the series. Babers hit his legendary cold shot home run. That's a ball graph 32 in the series. Balls. What's in there? Another room. Must be the bedroom. Whoa. Guest book. Let's sign in. What's today's date? 21st?
St. Mary's uniform. Wow. That's amazing. Bedroom? Yep. His bed. This is where he was born. <laughs> Remember I told you they didn't even born in hospitals back then. They were born in their house. This probably goes even higher now. That was cool. That's the birthplace right there. That is the birthplace. And it looks like there's even more those are stairs. Offices up there. Another room? It's yep. a big house. Oh, how cool is this? Ah, uh, let's grab those cards. Get the blurry out. Did the bar? I won the bar. Two hundred. This watch. I think they have a watch here for sale. I would love to get a watch, a Babe Ruth watch. Julia says that after the death of Ruth's first wife, Helen, Claire, and the babe were married. He was separated from his first wife, and he hadn't lived together for quite some time. So over the years, mother and daddy saw each other a great deal. And um, when his first wife died in a fire in 1929, they were married. Ruth's other daughter, Dorothy, remembers what it was like growing up with such a famous father. He was a very good family man. He was um, a father. What do you think, Ray?